a packed day. Just going to wait for people to join because you've all been in different breakout rooms. Bear with me a moment. We'll get started in just a moment. And still see a few people joining, <laughs> just bear with me. Great. Well, thank you everyone um, for joining us today for this final Heritage Compass Symposium, which has been a fantastic opportunity for us to bring together participants of the programme alongside our partners, trainers and the wider sector. And there's been so much valuable conversation which we'll capture um, and share in terms of next steps. Um, as is customary, I've obviously got some thank yous to do, um, which I hope is okay with everybody. So um, thank you firstly to our speakers and supporters for the day. Um, Jacob Elliott from the National Lottery Heritage Fund, who started us off. Tamsin and Kate from DHA Communications for leading the programme Reflections. Kath Hume from the AMA for running the Championing Digital for Audience Engagement Panel. And panellists Christina Lister and Ellen Cole. Uh, Sarah Thurtle from Creative United for running the Contributing to Local Economies panel and panellists Gary Stewart, Sally Dixon, Mandy Loach, and Hannah Beaumont. The panel panellists for Envisaging the Future of Heritage, uh, Geraldine Kendall Adams, Winnie Amara, David Shepard, Nicola Nuttall, Jess Monaghan, and Edmund Lee, and Jack and Danny from the AMA for managing the event so superbly, um, and of course to our funders, National Lottery Heritage Fund and DCMS, for their continued support and their wonderful flexibility in allowing us to adapt the programme over the last uh, three years. So Heritage Compass, we wanted to create a better connected, informed and resilient heritage landscape across England uh, with the several hundred participating organisations. Um, I also wanted just to say an enormous thank you to participants um, taking on a program like this, finding the time to do it, finding the time to be able to engage effectively with it is many hours of uh, time, consideration, collaboration, partnership. Um, and so thank you so much for your brilliant engagement. And also uh, to my team in particular, David, Annie and Lucy at Cause4, uh, for their ongoing support and development of the programme. So Heritage Compass comes to the end, um, formally at the end of this month, um, but we've got several plans for the legacy of the programme, which I just wanted to uh, run through. So firstly, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to have what we're calling a legacy website, and that will be launched very uh, shortly, which will pull together all the research documents, the data, and the reflections on the programme, hopefully in a very usable way, uh, which will be helpful uh, for months and years to come. We're going to continue to release our newsletter, uh, providing sector updates, additional resources and news on funding opportunities. Um, we're going to continue to use the benchmarking data with thanks to our colleague Sarah at MyCake um, and provide additional support around how to use that data um, for business planning purposes to really make sure data and evidence is embedded at the start of building um, business planning strategies and fundraising strategies and similar similarly. And finally, following this symposium, uh, we always try and uh, make sure things are forward facing um, and that we uh, can have a sort of practical document as a result of wonderful days like this. So we'll be compiling a final report which will be shared with National Lottery Heritage Fund and also all of you and the wider sector um, to pull together some key points about what really is the most urgent need, what are the most urgent needs um, for the heritage sector in the coming months and years. So really, 
Um, that just leaves me to finally wrap up. Um, it's been a wonderful journey for us for the last three years, but the heritage sector is a sector um, that needs investment care and attention to realize its huge potential. So hopefully we're going to be able to keep in touch, to be able to consolidate and build on some of the networks and opportunities um, that have been brought together in the last three years. So once again, thanks to all participants, our funders, people that have been involved in making the programme happen, our mentors and trainers. We hope you've had a really productive day and productive time on the programme um, and really look forward to staying in touch and being able to share the information that I've outlined. So thanks so much. Wishing you all a good evening um, and look forward to staying in touch in the future. Thanks so much, everyone.